Hello and welcome to Graham Snackers. I know it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded a video. I was just recharging my batteries, but now I'm back with a bang. More specifically, I'm back with the whole shebang. Now, I'm sure most people are looking at this bag of chips going, the whole shebang, I have never heard of whatever this is. But some of you maybe recognize it. And if you do, well, that's not exactly something to brag about because these are the prison chip. These are made by a company that exclusively makes food to be sold in the commissaries of prisons. And the whole shebang has gained some notoriety for being an incredible chip and much to the dismay of prisoners once they've been released into the general public, They'll go out and they'll look for the whole shebang only to be disappointed when they realize that it was only available in prison. So through sort of word of mouth, these have become kind of a, a, a well-known chip and something a lot of people have been curious to try. Now I was told about these by my good friend, roommate, and sometimes guest on the show, Steven, who was kind enough to just go to the park and just punch an old lady right in the face. Just really, really punch her and uh, get arrested and sent to the county jail for 60 days. And when he emerged a free man, he brought me this chip to review for my show. And then of course they sat in the pantry for a month while he just glared at me the entire time. I just, of course, just as the company that makes these chips did, when they decided to start selling them on their online website in 2016, as they claimed that too many recently released convicts were committing crimes in order to go back to jail to have these chips when they learned that they were only available in prison. So in an effort to keep crime levels down, they now sell the chips exclusively on their website. I've got to say, I, I am pretty excited to try these chips. Uh, I feel like mm, there's a chance that the hype has been kind of blown out of proportion because I imagine when you're in prison, you're starting to go kind of crazy with not a whole lot to do. And like, if this is the best chip in prison, that doesn't really mean it's the best chip available, but you could kind of build it up as being the best thing when you eat it for however many years. And I'm mostly just excited that I am getting to try these without having to commit a crime. <laughs> All right. Ooh. They smell really good. So first things first, I do want to point out that the bag does say super seasoned snacks. And it says original, but then you see these chips and these honestly look like some boring ass chips. And they don't look super seasoned. Well, this looks a lot more seasoned. This is not exactly the same color. These look like a normal Lay's, where this looks like a barbecue Lay's. So we definitely got some flavor going on in here. They smell kind of maybe barbecue-y, maybe a little vinegary. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm one chip in. And I'm thinking about doing a murder. The most prominent flavor here is like salt and vinegar. It is a very vinegary chip. So if you don't like salt and vinegar, probably not the chip for you, but it doesn't stop there. Uh, it does kind of taste like barbecue. What it really kind of reminds me of is Zapp's Voodoo Chips. It's not quite that flavor, but it's the only thing I've had that's a little bit similar. Now Zapp's Voodoo Chips are a snack that I think was pretty much only available in the South. And maybe it slowly crept its way up because I'm starting to see it here in St. Louis, Missouri. And I just had a bag of it actually last week. But the concept behind that snack is that it's all the flavors from that chip company combined into one chip. So lots going on where nothing's really easy to pinpoint. I'm getting that from these as well. But the best part is just 
how true to super seasoned it is because sometimes you'll eat a chip and you put it on your tongue and you'll start chewing and then you're like okay there it is there i'm getting the flavor now this the second it touched my tongue i was like oh there's a lot of flavor here they are not messing around i know there's a a couple varieties of this chip or maybe just one variety where it's like extra kick and i just can't even imagine this is some of the most flavor I've ever had on a chip. Maybe that other variety is like a spicy version, which could be really good, but this is a, a great chip on its own. With every bite, I get like another familiar kind of taste that I, I just, I'm not sure what that is exactly, but but there's there's stuff in there. There's, it's a, it's a, it's the whole shebang. It's, it, I think that's kind of what they are going for. It's like that Zaps chip is it's, just a lot of flavors all in one. You get the whole shebang in one chip. This is for sure a snack that I will have trouble putting it down. I just want to eat all of this because it tastes really good. I rate this an incredible. If this was a chip I could buy at the store, I would buy it very often, but it's not. I didn't purchase these. like. Steven did buy them for me uh, online, so I don't actually know how much they are, but I gotta say it's worth it because it's just, it's a tasty, it's a very unique chip. It packs a punch, but satisfies. I think if I was arrested for whatever reason, that this chip could keep me just a little bit saner uh, on the inside. And I am glad that they decided to sell these online because if someone had smuggled these out for me and I tried them, I mean, that could have been bad news for somebody. A prison exclusive snack. How could I ever top something like that? Uh, the only thing I could think of is if I like had a time machine and went back and found some, I don't know, four year old Mountain Dew? 